taking part in a disaster drill. Students in the firefighting program at Bluffton High School, as well as students in the law enforcement programs at both Buford Jasper Academy of Career Excellence and May River High School, had the opportunity to see how emergency crews would respond to an accident at the Hilton Head Island Airport. The scenario is such that on short final, Embraer 175, which is the type of aircraft we have here, is going to collide with a drone in the flight path. So we'll, he'll be landing without front landing gear. The students acted as the walking wounded as emergency crews worked quickly to treat their injuries. I had a major concussion and um, they were just asking me uh, what my name was and if um, I knew where I was and what was going on and I responded no. And um, they asked me a couple more questions to determine what my mental state was. I have a compound fracture, which just means that my bone is outside of my body and uh, I am bleeding profusely. The students say it was very interesting to see how the emergency personnel worked the scene. I learned about how they organized the injuries from uh, least critical to uh, most critical and um, the most critical get put into the ambulances and get treated first and then the least critical like just broken arms and minor injuries they kind of save them for last. I think it's kind of interesting that we actually interacting with all of these people out here and actually teaching us stuff about the ambulance. Many of these students hope to pursue a career in public safety and they say this experience was very informative. I want to go and obviously into the criminal field and I feel like I would be dealing with a lot of casualties or possible casualties that possibly I would treat if there's nobody else around. The Federal Aviation Administration requires the airport to conduct exercises similar to this once every three years. On Hilton Head Island, Ron Lopes, Buford County School District.